Because I ain't going to die in no horror film, motherfucker. I'm going to get it in. Fuck what you talk about. I didn't accidentally wander behind enemy lines. Trying to act harder than I am. Listen, I'm scared as a motherfucker. I'm petrified. I'm scared for my motherfucking life. Do you, do you, do you? What's going on, y'all? So, today I wanted to talk about, you know, Young Pharaoh and what's going on with his situation right now. And I just feel like it's fucked up <clears throat> that people still continue to treat things as a joke. You know, you got so many situations where it's a serious situation and you got either goofy ass so-called spiritual YouTubers who, you know, partake in the bullshit and the drama and turn this shit into some T-channel ass shit. And then you have the fans who are so entertained that they're just blind to what's going on. With this situation, with the situation with Kathy Pondexter, it's so much shit. And people treat it, they just looking at one side of the situation. And it's a lot of people that saying, oh, he's crazy, he's on drugs, this, that, and the third. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Yes, in the video that he made, I, there, I seen it, he you know, pulled out some shit or whatever, smoking, whatever. But I sat and I observed what was going on. And I honestly feel like this man's life could possibly be on the fucking line. I, like, li listen to me. Because I'm not hopping on here to just talk. I'm not hopping on here for no fucking like none of that shit. Like I said, I'm not the rest of these fucking YouTubers out here that claim to be spiritual, but they still turn this shit into, you know, loving hip hop. There is something going the fuck on. I'm not sure, you know, and I'm not trying to like, bro, I'm just saying, bro, y'all got to stop treating everything like it's a fucking game because we could lose somebody that's very important. Two, you know, you could call it spiritual community, spirit, whatever. You can call it whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? I don't look at him as, you know, like my leader. We're all our own leaders. But at the same time, this is a person who has put their life on the line for all of us. Giving us this information, waking people to fuck up. And now it's coming to a point where, you know... Shit is getting, shit is getting, like, it's getting spooky. It's getting crazy. It, it's, it's, it's strange. It's a lot of weird shit going on. Now, what's going on now is, you know, you could go to his page or go to his Instagram or whatever you want. But what he's trying to say is there's people that are, he just doesn't feel safe. You know what I'm saying? Talking about his bodyguard left him. You know, it's weird motherfuckers showing up at his door. All types of shit is going on. They even fucking with his, his, uh, his, his, uh, his, uh, his website. Now, I just, I just wanted to hop on here and just tell y'all, please, don't let this be something that turns into, you know, something ugly. Because y'all treat it as a joke. I see, I just seen so many people, you know, from the people that's posting videos to the people that's in the comments, that's just taking this as a joke. I ain't gonna lie, when I first seen it, I was like, okay, yeah, you know. But then I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm not looking at them with these two eyes. I'm looking at it with this. I'm sitting back and analyzing the situation and seeing, you know, What's, what's, I'm trying to take out what's the most important shit. And what I came to the conclusion of what's going on, these people are trying to get him. The same shit that's going on with fucking uh, Rashad Jamal. The same shit that's going on with him. He just came out and said that, you know, he, he, he feeling the same type of shit. 
Now, I don't know what the fuck is going on that got everybody, that got them feeling like that. Well, I understand with Pharaoh's situation, but y'all got to understand. These people have put their fucking lives on the line for a while. This is real information that that's that's this is this is the information that they have kept from people that they're teaching us that they're teaching people. You feel me? Real information. Information that can get you killed. This is why motherfuckers swear to secrecy once they learn about everything. They swear to secrecy once they come out. Once you see the celebrities come out and try to expose the shit, they get took off the fucking map. I really don't know what else to say about this situation, but it's fucking crazy. And the way that I feel some type of way about it, what really made me hop on this camera was what he had said in the video. In the videos. I'm just tired of everybody treating shit as if it's it's, it's, it's some big joke or it's some entertainment shit. Like, I understand, you know, he going through his whole little situation. Uh, I really don't give a fuck about it, to be honest with you. Uh, his whole little situation, whatever the fuck he got going on, you know, motherfuckers talk about it, he and his ego, all that. Fuck all that shit. There is something going on, bro. I'm not saying, oh, you got to go pull up and protect them or whatever. You can't. I mean, hey, I'm not you. I'm not I'm not encouraging, encouraging you to do anything. I just wanted to hop on here and just talk and speak my mind on this situation. Because I don't want to lose another one, another, another person who's, who's in the right light who don't deserve this shit. If you so-called spiritual or whatever, you would look at him as a fucking brother. As somebody that's taught you. As somebody that's, you know, somebody that's there. But I don't want to make this shit, you know, longer than what it should be. I just wanted to speak my mind on this situation. I feel like it's fucked up. I feel like I, I really hope he get out of this situation and able to get out of that fucking neighborhood. Wherever the fuck he's at, you know what I'm saying? And, and and get somewhere safe because I honestly feel like, you know, it's at a point where when you feel paranoid like that, when you know what you are doing and motherfuckers are after you, you don't get sleep. You do not feel safe. If you go watch the videos, nigga, they cut the cameras. Motherfuckers is popping up. I wouldn't be going to sleep either. That's probably part of the reason why he looking he, he he looking crazy to motherfuckers. But you know what, man? Who the fuck am I? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck do I know? I'm just a nigga on the internet to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't have to listen to anything I said. Just use your own. Use your own mind. Just use your own mind. But that's really all I had to say for this situation, man. This shit is crazy. And I hate seeing this shit. I really do. I hate when I see somebody that look like me build themselves up and they get then they get teared the fuck down because they did it independently. Because they are, yes, because they are black. You got motherfuckers. Everybody, bro, it, it's it's been so many leaders. So many leaders. And then you got coon ass, bitch ass niggas who are who look just like us that are helping these motherfuckers tear us down because of hatred, because of jealousy. Man, you know what, man? I ain't really got no rap for y'all, man. I don't know how to feel about I, I really don't know what else to say about this shit, but this nigga is not crazy. 